हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल होप यू आर आर डूइंग वेल सो आई होप फ्रॉम द टाइटल यू हैव ऑलरेडी अंडरस्टूड दैट वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन टू डेज वीडियो सो आई एम टेलिंग यू वंस अगेन सो इन टू डेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एवरी थिंग रिलेटेड टू मैंस्ट्रल कप सो स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम वॉट मैंस्ट्रल कप इज देन हाउ विल यू चूज द परफेक्ट मैंस्ट्रल कप फॉर योर सेल्फ एंड हाउ टू यूज इट ईच एंड एवरी पॉइंट आई विल डिस्कस इन टू डेज वीडियो यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल हाई आई एम रिया एंड आई मेक वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू स्किन केयर हेल्थ केयर फैशन एंड फिटनेस ऑल्सो सो इफ यू आर इन टू एनी ऑफ दीज डू कंसिडर सब्सक्राइबिंग टू माई चैनल एंड प्लीज हेट द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू गेट नोटिफाइड एवरी टाइम आई पोस्ट अन यूर वीडियो सो विदाउट एनी फॉर द डिल लेट्स बिग इन द वीडियो so the very first question that is what is a menstrual cup so menstrual cup is something like this you can see so this is the menstrual cup that i use so the main thing that it does is it just collects your menstrual blood once you insert it inside your body it will collect all the blood that you produce during your menstruation cycle and after it gets filled up you can just take it out and just dispose the blood and can uh, insert it again and you can uh, reuse it for years this is the best part of the menstrual cup so the most important thing that i would like to tell you that in our country there are a lot of misconceptions regarding virginity so you may think that using this menstrual cup that while you are inserting this menstrual cup your hymen may stretch and you will lose your virginity so that's not the thing and it's completely a misconception so your hymen can stretch due to a lot of reasons like if you exercise a lot if you are very much active like you are uh, do, you do swimming you do dancing and you do horse riding lots of reasons are there because of which your hymen can stretch so this is not the reason that you will lose your virginity now no one can lose your virginity due to this menstrual cup so this is a complete misconception and don't think that and don't even uh, bring it in your mind then the third thing is why one should use a menstrual cup and why should uh, somebody leave using pads like that's not uh, causing any harm to our body so why will i leave that i can use biodegradable pads that are completely safe for ourselves so why should we leave that so the very first thing that came to my mind is you can save your money to a great extent by using a menstrual cup because every month we need to buy a pack of pads for ourselves and that is not at all cheap and that's way too much costly than a menstrual cup and a menstrual cup costs nearly 500 rupees and it can last up to 5 to 6 years so think of the amount of money that you can save by using a menstrual cup secondly it's very much comfortable like you don't uh, feel anything that it something is inside your body once you insert it inside your body you are free for at least 4 to 5 hours on a heavy flow day and for a light flow day you can you are free for the day also because it can collect up to uh, like there are various uh, kinds of uh, cup like for light flow for medium flow and heavy flow so it can uh, it have different capacities so according to that you will buy your cup and uh, that will store the blood for the entire day also so you can just imagine that how much comfortable you will feel because uh, like whenever we wear a pad we are always like feeling a wet uh, something is attached to your body so that is really uncomfortable all of you who use uh, pads you already know that how much uncomfortable a pad is so compared to that a menstrual cup is way too much comfortable and you can not even feel anything that something is there inside your body so it's really too much comfortable so one thing that i will tell you that many girls think and it's totally normal that while inserting a cup you will uh, have a lot of pain so if you have the fear of insertion and if you feel squeamish that uh, while well, while taking out this menstrual cup your hand will be full of blood and uh, it's too much dirty for you then don't even think of a menstrual cup because you can buy it but you can never use it because if you are squeamish you are out so the things that i will be telling up next so uh, it can be uh, a bit sensitive for some people so uh, girls who are feeling that it's not uh, uh, okay for you you can just exit this video so uh, in order to choose a menstrual cup the first thing that you need to do is a finger test so what is a finger test basically uh, during your heavy flow day 
like it can be your first day or even your second day you have to just insert your middle finger into your uh, vagina so for that you have to be in a full squat position and then you have to insert your uh, finger so why uh, i said that you have to do this in a heavy flow day because uh, on your heavy flow day your cervix is at the lowest position so uh, you will get the correct results while doing the test on your heavy flow day so uh, after you insert your middle finger because this is the longest finger that we have so after you insert your middle finger you have to check that something uh, like your nose tip like this this surface you will feel you inside your body once you get that you have to stop there so this is your cervix like the cervix feels almost like the tip of your nose so so we need this cervix measurement for uh, choosing uh, our menstrual cup if you are thinking that you will hurt yourself while inserting a finger no guys you will not even hurt yourself it's not at all painful and uh, make sure that your uh, nails are properly cut because if you have nails then you can hurt yourself but if you don't have any then you will not at all hurt yourself while inserting a finger so now you have to note down few things that uh, how will you choose your menstrual cup according to your cervix uh, if you notice that if you are inserting the whole of your finger and still you are not finding your cervix then you have a very high cervix and if you notice that your some cervix is somewhere between this a uh, second and the third knuckle then you also have a high cervix if you notice that if your cervix is somewhere at this like if you get your cervix at this uh, second knuckle then you have a medium cervix and if you get your cervix somewhere like at the first knuckle or somewhere between the first and the second knuckle then also you have a like low to medium cervix so now according to your uh, flow and according to cervix position you will choose your menstrual cup every cup brand uh, in the indian market manufactures mainly three types of cups like one is a small one is the medium and the one, one is the large cup so if you have a low cervix and if you have a light to medium flow then you can use a small cup if you have a low cervix but a heavy flow then you can use a small cup but you will need to change it frequently because the capacity of a small cup is very uh, small so you have to like change it very frequently if you have a medium cervix and if you have a light to medium flow so you will need a medium size cup and if you have a medium cervix but a heavy flow then you will need a medium size cup or else you can also use a large size cup if you feel that you have that place inside your body to insert a large size cup then if you have a high cervix and a light to medium flow you can also use a medium sized cup and uh, like it will be perfectly uh, fine for you and if you have a high cervix and a very heavy flow then without thinking twice you just need a large size cup the few steps that you need to do while inserting your cup is first is sterilize your cup twice per menstrual cycle so at the beginning of your menstrual cycle and also at the end of your menstrual cycle you need to sterilize your cup so just take a big container and take water in it and put the cup inside that water and make it boil for at least 5 minutes don't think that you will just warm up your water and you will just pick up the cup so uh, in that way it will not be sterilized properly so uh, you have to boil the water for at least 5 minutes and then you will just take out your cup and let it cool down for 2 uh, to 3 minutes and you are ready to insert it inside your body by seeing this cup you might be thinking that how will i insert this inside my body like this is a very big thing to insert through such a small hole that we have so don't worry guys uh, i have some folds for you that will help you to uh, insert the cup inside your body so the very first fold that i will tell you that i personally uh, use and this is the punch down fold so to do this fold just hold your cup like this with your left hand and just press your cup like this with your right hand and just hold it like this so you can see the diameter got reduced too much and now it will be easy for you to insert it inside your body so the cup will look like this so imagine that this is your vaginal opening and you will just need to insert this 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 face of your cup inside your body so just take it like this and insert it like this So once you push your cup inside your body and you leave the cup it will immediately open inside like this you see 
so if in case it does not open after inserting inside your body you will feel that like there will be a suction like thing like you will feel that the cup has opened properly still if it uh, not uh, opens inside your body after insertion you will just need to hold your stem and just push just pull it lightly outwards so once you pull it you will feel that the cup gets opened so still to double check you can just insert your any finger inside your uh, body and just like run your finger around the cup sides and make sure that the cup has opened so in this way you can double check that your cup has opened inside or not don't think that this is something very hard or very tough this is a very easy thing like you will get used to it after you insert it for at least four to five times i have been using this cup for almost eight to nine months now and uh, i am very much used to it because it's too much easy for me to insert it inside my body so the next two folds are the seven fold and the c fold so the seven fold will be like this so hold your cup like this and just fold it like a seven and you will see that it will form a seven and your cup will look like this so now you can insert it inside your body in the same way so the next is the c fold so the c fold i don't think that it will be a possible for you to use this type of fold but still i'm showing it if you are in case comfortable with it you can just use this fold so for the c fold you will just hold your cup like this and fold it into a c so you can see that your cup has formed a c and you will just take it like this and you will just insert it into your body like this i don't think that the c fold will be comfortable for you so just follow the punch down fold or the seven fold anyone will be just perfect so guys one thing make sure that this whole of this cup must be inside your body because nothing should be outside this stem also should be inside your body and nothing will be outside your body so you can see that i have trimmed my stem because i have a medium cervix and that's why and this is a medium sized cup but the stem was uh, not getting inside my body so that's why i needed to trim it and it was also like creating a little bit of discomfort so i needed to trim this so according to your needs you can just keep your stem or trim your stem or you can also just cut it out fully so that's uh, fully depends on you so many of my friends also keep asking me that uh, how to choose a menstrual cup for them like uh, how will i choose a menstrual cup how will i insert it inside my body so i know that you girls have a lot of questions i also had those questions when i started using this for the first time so it's completely okay and uh, i tried to like uh, clear all your doubts in this video so yeah guys that was all about today's video hope you like this i hope that all your doubts are cleared in this video and i will be talking about my experience of using a menstrual cup in my next video so if you like this video please don't forget to give a big fat thumbs up on this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon and you can also follow me on my instagram handle my instagram handle is skincareaholic skincare underscore underscore holic you can also follow me up there and yeah guys that was all about today's video and see you again in my next video till then stay happy stay healthy and stay fit love you all